Hey YouTube, it is Mommy Days coming to you live hey. from, Cake from Annecy, France. Um, we are visiting France for several weeks because my husband works out here a lot and we have, he used to be up here for an extended period of time. So um, his family got to join him. <laughs> so we're expats at this point in time, but just for the really the spring. So today's our first full day. We got in yesterday and we of course just jet lagged so we found a restaurant ate and then going didn't went to sleep <laughs> i know you guys understand so now today's our first day and we are just having a lovely time we of course my first priority is to get food for the house we have an apartment oh do you just put grass in my hair really hey we don't put no we don't do we don't do that not not in this head we don't put grass in here no hey <laughs> done done so now um, we are out doing some errands we're going to the market then we are going to a grocery store um, before we did that we decided to come to a park so this is a park here I have no idea what plaza or anything this is but it wasn't the best park in the world mainly because it has a lot of teenagers that are just kind of smoking and a lot of beer bottles <laughs> So um, I think I'm going to go over to a tourism office and see if they can give me suggestions on things to do with the toddler while we're here. I know there's beach and a few other things, but um, I really want to um, jam pack our schedule a little bit so we're not sitting in an apartment driving each other crazy while my husband is at work. So that does it. Things are getting a little wild over here and I'll check in soon. Are you spinning? You all done? Oh, uh, kilo, 155 pour un kilo. Pas généreux. <laughs> These are the steps that bring us up to our door here, and then you can continue up, I assume, more. Well, the owner calls us a loft, so I assume that there are more <laughs> up those steps. So it's a little messy because we're still kind of unpacking, but I'll go ahead and give you a little tour. Then I have to go downstairs and get the rest of the groceries. So this way, here are some of the clothes that we've already put together. This is a bedroom in there. The shade's down. My son was sleeping. One second, please. Uh-oh. There's me in the dark. <laughs> Let's find some light. Okay. And here is our bathroom with a standing shower. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, got to go get the stroller from downstairs. So up these steps is another bed, like a little loft up there. So it's right on top of the other bedroom. It's a living room, television. As I said, it's a little bit of a mess right now. Um, so kind of getting things together. Here is our kitchen, lovely windows, and a door to the outside. And... This is a huge selling point for us. This private terrace that goes all the way up here. So I don't want to go up too far because my son is following me and he needs assistance getting up here. Will you stay right there? No. No, okay, I didn't think so. So it goes up here a few more. And this is... And then there's a little door right there that goes out to a little alleyway. So this is our apartment. Okay, here is our market hall. I did a short video on that, um, but it was just a lot going on, so I wasn't able to. So these are, what is this called? Where it's like olives smashed up or cut up, diced up, minced or whatever. Um, tap in the, oh, I can't remember. Um... So I tried to find some prepared foods. I'm not much of a chef, and it's even harder in a kitchen that's not your own. 
And so I found a place that was selling prepared food and I tried to explain to them I was looking for no meat and I just said no milk and how hopefully that was covering the cheese piece and I forgot to say something about eggs but um so this looks like some type of couscous oh you know I think this was um tabbouleh looks a little different than what I'm used to so it was just some carrots lentils but it looks a little creamy so I'm not sure if that's pieces of cheese or if those are onions we're seeing my son is allergic to lentils is that Never heard of that before. Um, so this looked really good. This looked like it was vegan. So mushrooms and some type of maybe a tomato sauce. And we got beets. So we got um, a few bananas. Um, grapefruit. Strawberries. Uh, what are these called? Oh, I cannot remember. I totally forgot. I rarely get those in the US, so I just can't remember. Cherries. And then a baguette. So all of this stuff, I think I spent about maybe 30 euro or so. Maybe a little bit more. The prepared food um, was a bit pricier. But um seemed like everything was a really great price. Okay, here's some of the stuff that we brought with us from the United States. Some pop popcorn. Um, um, some type of strawberry cereal bars. My husband like. I've seen that before. This is a tropical trail mix by Happy Belly, got that from Amazon. Um, Trader Joe's broccoli, quartz, um, chia bars, banana chips. Okay, different packs of instant oatmeal, some muesli. More breakfast bars, peanut butter, peanut butter and jelly bars, more of these. So like I said, my husband really likes those. So, and we had some, and we had some fruit. Okay, first this, then that. My, um, we had a lot of fruit with this. This was full of strawberries, and we had a bag of grapes, and some sesame seeds, and plantain chips. But that stuff was eaten on the airplane. It was the whole purpose of bringing it. We wanted to have enough food to kind of get us here, because you never know when you arrive if you can find anywhere to eat, and all of that stuff. So, um, we're going to, oh, let me show you what I got from the grocery store. Okay, so here's what I got from a little grocery store. It's very close to the house, so I didn't overdo it. Um, some diapers for my son. We brought hmm, probably about 15 diapers, but I hope this will get us through the next, the rest of our trip. We're here for five weeks. I don't know if I said that or not. Plenty of water. So this looks like some potatoes with seasoning. Bag of lettuce. I thought some of the olives would be great for as a dressing on top of this. Um, here is some type of cereal like a good mix of things in there some pasta which I'm not sure if it's cooked with eggs or toilet paper paper towels and this set of things I think it cost me 27 euros okay here is our lunch like I said before we're vegans so I just got some lettuce here with the tabbouleh carrots my son is finishing these apples that I cut for breakfast this is a peanut butter and jelly bar I haven't been able to find peanut butter yet, so glad we had some of these. And he's having banana chips and some little broccoli chips. So, it's kind of what we have going on now. Unfortunately, he does not eat this type of stuff. We're hoping one day he will, but at this point, he's not great at eating vegetables. So, that's our lunch. Hey, sorry this lighting is pretty bad. Um, it's dark. It's getting dark outside now. We both took naps and then I went for another walk to somewhere like a mall just to kind of see what, just kind of what's going on. Um, just to see other places and my son needs some new shoes. I wasn't able to pick some up before we left the country. So I just started kind of staking some things out around here. It's a great because the mall, everything's just so close to where we are. Really excited about that. So now, just sitting around, hanging out, playing with cars, and waiting for my husband to come home from work. And then I think we're going to go to an Italian restaurant and um, get something yummy to eat. So it's outside, even though I know I went grocery shopping, so we should probably eat at home. But I'm just really... One t I really, really want to go to this Italian restaurant because it has really good reviews and 
So anyway, we're gonna go. <laughs> Bonjour. It is the next day. Um, had a nice dinner in an Italian restaurant, and I keep getting pizza with no cheese in it. Not great because then the restaurants aren't really. They don't put a lot of sauce in their pizza, and when you don't have cheese, then the sauce kind of saves it. Um, but now, need to say, I'm gonna figure it all out so I can figure out what I like and what I want to eat. You know, it just kind of takes some time when you're visiting new places. So, outside playing with trucks and cars, exercised already. Um, my husband's outside exercising now. We talked about going to the beach, just a bike ride away. Um, but I don't think we are going to go. Um, just need to do a little bit more planning. So, anyway, so it's a new day, and um, let's see what today has in store. I have really dropped the ball. I really planned on doing a whole weekend of vlogging, our first weekend overseas, but I failed. <sighs> anyway, I'm back. It's Monday now. We had a great weekend. It rained a lot, but so we just really spent time together in the house. Slowly, still getting adjusted. I really feel like we've gotten adjusted to the time change we're six hours ahead and um, my husband's back at work so it's the second day at work um and you know we're just trying to just adjust to the new lifestyle where we're shopping i went into the laundry today i went to a laundry mat that's close by this apartment does not have a washing machine or dryer and but our next one has a washing machine so i'm really excited about that i had to wait in a long line oh, it took like 45 minutes for me to get a washing machine and did 45 minutes to wash and they had dryers but i just my son was not going to wait another 45 minutes for these clothes to dry so um i went ahead and hung them up right here and he's there he is over there there's the rest of the socks and things that I didn't hang up. I may just kind of lay them out. So that's what's on the floor. He's over there watching a little iPad and I really don't want, I'm not a big screen time person, but he's just watching a lot of that stuff while we're gone, while we've been here. And I don't like it at all, but I just kind of feel a little stuck. You know, we don't have our regular everyday school curriculum stuff here. It's toys, he's very few toys. I don't want to buy a bunch of stuff because then I got to get it back to the United States and I'm not the type of person to really buy something and just leave it. I'll do that if I bought something used, but paying full price of stuff, you know, I just feel like it's very wasteful, but um, I think I'm going to have to invest in a few things. So he's just not sitting at the iPad all the time. I mean, honestly, he's probably watching two, three hours every day. And usually, I'll, you know, when we're home, I'll let him watch maybe between two days he may watch two hours um or he may go like three days and not watch anything at all but so it's just a lot of that going on so i have to figure out what we're going to do i like to stay out um which helps a lot but um it's been raining right now it's not raining very beautiful day <laughs> the perfect time for that bird to fly by right so um, it's not raining right now so, um, that's why we went out to the laundromat, but as soon as we walked back in, of course, the first thing on his mind was, you know, iPad or, you know, he, he said the name of a certain video that he likes to watch. So I had to figure that out, um, cause this is like kind of, it's going to be a rainy period while we're here. I mean, so sad. So today, this morning, I planned on washing clothes, got clothes washed, just cooked lunch for him, which I don't think he's going to eat any of it made pasta with a little sauce over it and put him down for a nap then i'm going to go once he wakes up go to the grocery store pick up a few more things that i haven't been able to find really at the market i went to the market again yesterday oh my goodness got the loveliest garlic spread i don't know what this is it looked like olive oil garlic maybe chives i i don't i don't know what it was but it's just amazing and i'm really enjoying getting baguettes every day <laughs> and i'm eating all of it but my portion size is very small so i don't feel that badly but needless to say that's kind of where we are i'm so sorry i dropped the ball i don't even really honestly know what i'm going to be talking about while i'm here i feel like my everyday life is a little dull 
and just looking at the camera and rambling like I'm doing right now. Um, I just don't want to lose followers over that. I don't know how interesting that is. Um, but this is our life. This is um, day five ex as expats. And, you know, so far, so good. I'll check in with you in a second. I promise I'm not going to drop the ball again. Um, and the salade de oranges? Is that meat? Fish. Okay, no, 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 thank you. Uh, oh, no meat. The tomato. This one, this one, this one is the mushroom. Mm. What is this? The this one. Mm -hmm. This one is tomatoes and some vegetables. Okay, I'll take some of that. Thank you. <laughs> Beautiful plaza. Just a few steps away from our apartment. Yeah, I am, Miss Bag Lady. Okay, here's my small grocery haul. My husband's on his way home from work, so I'm gonna say, yeah, do it. Um, so first we got this. This is some type of biscuits that we got for a friend. So this wasn't at the grocery store we went to. Um, now this is, I really don't know, but some type of vegetable mix with tomato, she said. I don't know if that's, I don't know what type of, if this is some type of grain. I will find out. Now this is tabbouleh, so that looks like the same thing. So maybe this, I don't know. This is, it's so hard to shop with um, not knowing really kind of what's, what you're, buying especially when you're vegan <laughs> but i'm just doing my best here um this is cabbage or from what yeah it looks like red cabbage then we got some type of lentils um i don't yeah maybe more tabbouleh so here's some tea i love tea i have no idea what type of tea this is but it looks like a blueberries some potatoes, the last potatoes I got last time had butter all over them. It's a um, downside of not being able to speak French. <laughs> we use some peanut butter. Um, got some more of this special K cereal. This time I found some almond milk. And then two liters, two, six um, bottles of two liter water. So, really excited. And I spent, this was 36 euro. And then here's our view once again, right at our kitchen. Isn't it just lovely? I thought this was so funny. Here's the restroom at a sushi restaurant we're eating. And there's a scale. Why is there a scale in the public bathroom? I, that's the first. Well, we're clearly at the end of our meal here, but... <laughs> um, but we had some sushi rolls that has mint in it. It's really good. Yummy. We just went off of the recommendation of the server, which is right there. Um, and then they also, which was different, they had sweet and salty soy sauce, which I prefer just the salty one. And we had some miso soup that was fantastic. So, um, this is dinner for us in a beautiful setting with my husband. <laughs> the fellas are back at it over here.
wrapping things up for the night. My son is eating strawberries, a baguette, and peanut butter. He didn't want any of our sushi. Actually, I got him to eat a little bit of some rice and avocado. Um, but so he's finishing off the evening with this. We had a great day today. Thanks for coming along with me. And sorry, this video was pretty choppy yes, with different days. And sorry, my husband is so loud. But um, I'll do some more um, videos very soon. And Anyway, glad okay. I was able to get this one Understood. done and uploaded. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Okay,